Hey, what's up guys? It's Eli Knight with Knight Jiu Jitsu and with Aperture. So, and I want to show you a technique today that uh, I've been working with. I got it from originally from a punching headlock defense and I'm privileged to have Mr. Jared Wihongi here to help me demonstrate this. So what happened originally was uh, we were working a punching headlock defense. If he grabs me in a headlock here, then I'm shooting the arms across because I'm addressing the threat here and then I'm looking to get this kind of arm pin in this position and then looking to free myself and maybe get back behind like this right so I started looking at different applications for it and I noticed that off of a crashing off of a clinch if he's stepping in to, to throw a punch from here if I just crash into this distance here and then I come in and I'm able to pin the arm across the side of the body like this it gives me excellent control I can strike here with this hand still maintaining control over like this I can knee here if that's necessary the only thing he really has access to at this point is this arm here that can maybe try to wrap me back in the headlock, but it makes it easier for me now to slip out behind him and maintain this with now control from the back. And I've been calling it, referring to this as a cross body two on one. You may call it something else if you play with this position. So let's look at a couple different applications for this if I want to go to more of a finish from here. So if from the application of him stepping in to throw the punch. I crash the range like this. I step in to the side kind of position. I want this T-frame like this, so I have this triangle kind of position. I reach across the body, I slide to the wrist. The arm from behind is coming through and pinning here. So I'm getting a kind of a combination grip, thumb grip on the wrist, hand on the forearm here. Again, this arm here is likely to, to try to swing, to try to put me back in the headlock, which is just going to wind up giving me access as long as I maintain my posture to slip around to the back here. Now, uh, further application could be, let's say that this is a law enforcement situation and I have to subdue this gentleman here. If we get into this position here, he's swinging on me, I wind up tussling with him this way. I get to this position. If there's a wall available, I can use the wall for leverage. I'm gonna press my knee between his legs like this to pin him. I've still got his arm pinned over this way. A lot of times, if I slip my head out, he'll tend to grab the wall like this to try to push himself off. This gives me excellent access to reach through, grab the bottom, the back, the blade of the hand here with these fingers, put it behind his back here, and now I can start to work into a cuffing procedure if that's my, my duty here. If I, for some reason at this point I don't feel like I'm maintaining good control, I can always step here, break down the knee, put him back to sitting, or even roll him back over here. And this makes even a better position, again, if this were a law enforcement issue or not. This is just a good control point. Okay. So, again, I've been referring to this as a cross body two on one. It's a good position to get into. It offers me a lot of control. And uh, see what you think about it, guys. Play around with it. And uh, just another note. Thank you very much for, uh, for Mr. Jerry yeah. Rangi here to let me demonstrate on him. And guys, keep on being patient with us while we're in this transition of Funker Martial Arts to Aperture. There's a lot of good stuff coming. We just finished an, an awesome weekend with excellent instructors and this Aperture rebranding is gonna be a huge thing to keep looking for. Be patient, check out links below for more great content to come from us. Thanks. I do this for I do this for my sister, my wife and my kids, cause they part of the team. I do this for all the naysayers and haters who made me one of the greatest. I know it kills you inside, that's why I do this for you. I was gonna say, this is actually a real, I really like that position. It's a real similar technique I've done before on um, someone turns away from, from you and is drawing a weapon from a concealed position and just shooting in on them from that position and getting a hold of that arm so you, so you can ascertain what it is they're, they're actually drawing as they turn the body away and start drawing something out from the waistband. So, um, yeah, I think there's some great application in, in various um, scenarios. Can yeah. you demo that? Sure. Okay, so, I'm here and I'm belating. Yep, so, so basically I'm coming here and... Yeah. Come into this position here. Sorry, show me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm, bas I'm basically coming to this position here. Yeah. And so when I get here, I can figure out what is going on in his hand here. Mm -hmm. And then from that position, I could be you know, yeah. dumping him down backwards this mm -hmm. direction, um, but going to the, to the next step from there. So a very similar, similar yeah. position, but now in a different application. Yeah. Do the same thing. I do that same thing for gun drawers, for gun drawers, knife drawers. What? 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 Yeah. What, yeah. What, yeah. They, they're gonna. They're gonna start coming General here, and then the they, they start backing up. Yeah. So I think. I think it's so funny how we think all well, things so yeah. similar about. You know, it's different stuff, but it's similar. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool.